So congratulations, Belle and Maud, on The King of Staten Island. I love both of your characters in this movie immensely. Thank you. Firstly, I was wondering, how did you find the process of working with uh, Pete Davidson and Judd Apatow? And Maud, I suppose you are coming from that familial connection <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we had the best time. It's fun. I mean, Pete, the story obviously is so personal to him and he was so vulnerable and like gave so much to the movie, just the script. And so we all really wanted to make sure that we were doing a good job for him and did the script justice and him. And I mean, he was just super supportive the whole time, never made anyone feel weird that we were sort of playing these characters that are like vaguely based on people he actually knew and, or knows currently, but um, yeah, I mean, that must be weird for him, but he never acted like it was that weird and just made everyone feel super comfortable. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bell. <laughs> Oh, um, I've like been a huge fan of Judd's work for, I mean, since I was like a little kid. So it was like really exciting and like a kind of like a dream come true for me to get to like be in one of his movies. Um, and I knew Pete a bit before, so it was just like an absolute like pleasure, like working with a friend and like Maud said, like, he was honestly such an gracious, like generous, like an incredible actor to work with. And we just had the most fabulous time. Um, I know that Judd is often associated with, you know, incorporating quite a lot of improv into his movie. So I was wondering how much did the improvisation process kind of feature in, you know, your respective scenes and how did you find that way of working? Yeah, I mean, for like most of my scenes were like pretty heavily improvised, which was um, definitely quite scary because I'd never worked in that way before. And obviously you're like improvising comedy against like with a comedian who like has like a backlog of jokes. Um, so yeah, it was intense, but also I found it like an incredibly freeing like way of working. Like I think you discover more about your character this way than you would if you were like heavily scripted. Um, yeah, it was fun. And also you have so much time on, like, we, yeah. Judd, Judd gets like a lot of time in his movies. We have like a whole day to shoot one scene. So you can really like discover kind of any kind of different avenue that you want to. And the improv too, like, we'll start what's on, like with what's on the page. And then if it doesn't feel right, we have total freedom to sort of take it in another direction. But what Belle was saying about keeping up with the comedians, it can be rough and <laughs> they're so funny like look catch you off guard and sometimes it's hard to get your footing but it's really important to stay like super present and that's I mean challenging but I mean that's the goal at least for me as an actor is to be present stay present so this makes it a lot easier to be that way when you know <laughs> you could be thrown off at any moment <laughs> Do either of you guys have a favorite like moment or scene that emerged from improv? Um, Do you improv scene? that panda line? Or <laughs> no, that was so bad. No, I, no, I didn't. We, it's the scene in the restaurant um, when Kelsey goes to like try and impress Scott in the restaurant and then she gets really upset that he's like not paying her attention and she starts crying and then she gets really sad that he looks really depressed and he's not looking well. And I said that he looked like an anorexic panda which everyone found really funny, but then everyone was like really scared of Pete because it's obviously like kind of like offensive. Everyone was like, oh my God, what's he gonna say? Like, that's quite mean. <laughs> but it made it into the movie, so I don't know. I guess you found it funny. <laughs> it was... <laughs> that was a brilliant oh. moment, loved it. <laughs> Um, another thing I love, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this about Judd's work, which I absolutely adore, is he always writes very strong, very funny female characters. It's just something that I adore so much about his work, because so often they're sidelined, not just in comedy, but in quite a few genres. Was that like a big motivation for you guys to get involved with this project? Yeah, totally, totally. I think all of the female characters in this movie are incredibly strong and don't really take um, Scott's shit like they know that he needs to they care about him and they know that he needs to change but they're not willing to save him or enable him and um I think it was any other way it would have been weird if it was any other way because that's I don't know that's how kind of it really is <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I think yourself as well. <laughs> I, I agree with Belle. And having, I don't know, these women who are like, you can just tell that they've had the same fight so many times. And knowing, like, Belle's character is known since I think they were like five. And obviously, my character, they've known each other since she was born. So it's just like frustrating to tell someone the same thing over and over and over again and have them not listen to your advice. But I think, yeah, being at that breaking point, and I think both of our characters realize in the movie, like, we can only do so much for a person and ultimately it's up to them to change. And so, yeah, coming to terms with that, I think. For sure. Sure. I'm the eldest of four siblings, so I definitely feel you there with being the responsible (laughs) sister. Um, Guys, I could talk to you about the movie all day, but I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. Um, But congratulations on the film again. Really, really enjoyed it. Thank Thank you you so much. Thank Thank you. you